In this video, I'm gonna show you three keys you need to have success when it comes to media buying. Let's roll. The first key to success when it comes to media buying, especially when you're on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, is entertainment. Entertainment is so key. Oh, I almost actually made that. Entertainment is so key because you have to understand that people are on that platform for a specific purpose, and it's not to actually watch your ad. So when you're coming up with advertisements, it's actually really important to make sure that you maintain a level of entertainment. Just like how you're watching this video on YouTube or wherever you're watching this, you're here to watch entertainment value. Yes, you're here to get educated, but you're ultimately here because you're on a platform to get entertainment value. So it's very important that when you have an advertisement experience, it's not just about what is the offer that you're running, but are you actually entertaining, gripping the audience? Uh, I like to think about it this way. When you're running advertising, always assume that your market is in the grocery aisle at Walmart, right? Assume that they're not ready to see your ad. They actually didn't expect it, they didn't want to see it, but they're watching it there and you've gotta grip them, you've gotta get them out of their day. That, hey, when you're checking out zucchinis at Walmart, I want you to take the time and actually pay attention to my ad. Or when you're at the table eating dinner or you're watching a movie with the family, what's to make them stop what they're doing and pay attention to you? So it's important that you're always entertaining when it comes to your paid traffic. Okay, so let's dive right into tip number two to find success when it comes to media buying, and that's education. Education is such a vital part to advertising because it's the education's job to prove to your market that they don't have information that they should have and how your product or service gives them the fulfillment of that desire. For example, if your market has never heard about your product or service, you should spend time educating them of why they should know about your product or service. Or if they do understand your competitors, maybe they know about your competitors' products but not yours, you should be educating them of why your product or service gives them more of what they want and less of what they don't want as compared to your competitors. However, if your market is aware of you and your brand, you should be spending time educating them of why they should trust, know, and like you. Whether that's talking about who you are as, as far as your history, your accolades, your awards, or when it comes down to your product. What's the advantages of your product versus your competitor's product? All of this stuff is a matter of education about to the market. And too many advertisers spend time assuming that their market already knows and understands the benefits that they could get from it. But the fact of the matter is, the market most of the time doesn't. And if you're remarketing to your audience that already knows about your product or service, you should tell them in what other ways can your product or service benefit them, make them fear, you know, run away from their pains and go towards their pleasure. It's all a matter of sophistication. Sophistication is defined by Eugene Schwartz as their understanding of competing offers. What other competitors are in the water? How bloody is the current water or the competitive space that you're in now? You should be spending time on educating your market and stop assuming. Cover the bases, talk about the claims of your product, talk about the claims of your company, but also spend time understanding what they don't know and find a way to make them know it. So the third tip to having success when it comes to media buying is clarity. See, too many marketers try to be clever when it comes to their advertising rather than clear, right? Kata, come here. Like my dog Kata, take her for example, right? Let's take her. All she wants is this, right? Sit. Everything in her life means her. Look at her. Everything in life is this toy. Nothing else matters. When I do something like this, look, still got it. I wasn't clear with what I actually did, and it's caused her to have confusion. She's gone off over there. Kata, come here. Sit. When really, if I was clear from the beginning, she would get what she wants. And too many marketers try to act like that. We're trying to fake out the market with a clever headline, clever hook. When realistically, we just need to be clear from the beginning and she would have bought it. She wants it. Sit. See, now she's getting smarter. I'm starting to be a little. <laughs> oh, there I was, being clever. Be clear with your advertising. You'll get better results. All right, so clearly Kate is tired. I've got to get back to work. I've got to get, get stuff done, and I'm pretty sure you do too. So I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully it's been real, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.